What's up? How are you guys today? We are making balsamic glazed shiitake mushrooms, kind of similar to a French technique on a side dish preparation. So if you're wondering, you know, why the side dishes in the restaurants taste so good, a lot, a lot of work goes into making them. And I'm going to give you guys some tips I've learned today. Now, I like mushrooms because they're delicious. They go well with meat and they're pretty minimally inflammatory, high in minerals, very, very healthy food. We have some organic shiitake mushroom caps. Uh, I like this because they're a little uh, cheaper per pound. We have some organic thyme, garlic, lemon. That's all of the fresh produce. And then we have some collagen extract, dietary supplement, courtesy of the Department of Agriculture for the labeling requirements. Uh, just some beef broth, guys. We have this on uh, frankiesfreerangemeat.com, which I made into a more flavorful beef stock. So I took our collagen broth, I added a lot of meat, put it in the pressure cooker just to add more beef flavor, more B vitamins to it, just a little bit of salt, have some organic biodynamic wine, and some balsamic glaze. You could just use any balsamic vinegar of Modena. So I'm going to prep everything and then we'll start cooking. Shiitake are my favorite choice for their flavor, their health and nutrition, and their price point. Uh, Chanterelle are very expensive and very seasonal, but those are delicious and very good for you as well. Uh, besides that, the, the portobello, the cremini, uh, the, the white button mushrooms, those are all the same species of mushroom and have kind of been, you know, really commercialized. So I'm not too much of a fan of those. So once the mushrooms are sliced, we're just going to put them on a high heat in a pan with a neutral oil. Uh, this is just refined coconut oil. You know, if you use beef fat, pork lard, ghee, it, it might overtake the flavor of the mushroom a little bit. So try not to use too much if you're using those. Uh, so thyme is definitely my favorite herb in general. It goes very well with meat, very well with mushrooms. We don't have to prep it. We'll just put it in with the broth when we reduce it, and then we'll take it out at the end when it's finished. Garlic, same thing as the thyme. We're just going to put it in the pan for flavor and then take it out at the end so we don't have to do any crazy knife work or prep on this stuff. Because if you're going to peel these thyme leaves, mince up this garlic, it, it takes a long time. So we got the mushrooms on a high heat. We just want to get some browning caramelized color on them. Just some more developed flavors. I'm just adding some more oil because they're absorbing the oil. The mushrooms are getting a little color, so we're gonna put the garlic in the pan and the thyme. So we just wanna get a little color on the garlic and the thyme while caramelizing the mushrooms. So after everything's a little brown, basically before it starts to burn, we're going to deglaze the pan with our very concentrated beef broth. So the quality of this broth and the amount of meat you use to make it will ultimately decide how flavorful these mushrooms are to a certain extent. And the reason I haven't added any salt yet is because I do have salt in this broth and I don't want the mushrooms to be over salted by the end of it. So if you don't have any salt in the broth you make, then yeah, you could add a little bit of salt in the beginning. So now that we have a liquid in here, the thyme and the garlic is going to start to boil and extract flavors into this beef broth, which is then going to concentrate and be absorbed into the mushrooms. So we're building up a lot of flavors. You know, sometimes when restaurants do side dishes like this, they'll spend hours and hours and hours reducing stock, reducing stuff, but we don't want to really spend more than 10, 15 minutes. We want this to be realistic. Now, the reason you would want to do this longer at a lower temperature is because the high heat can kind of uh, get rid of some of the flavors of the high quality ingredients, but you know, no one wants to sit and make uh, no one wants to sit and make mushrooms for two hours. Broth is almost completely reduced. You can see there's some like sticky residue, the fond in the bottom of the pan. Uh, we don't want to let any of that burn. So after all that liquid's reduced, we're going to put in about half a cup of wine. This is going to add a lot of fruitiness, acidity, tannin, just compounding those flavors. And yeah, I would just get something organic biodynamic. It's not that expensive now. So we're going to scrape up all that fond at the bottom. Make sure it's glazed all over the mushrooms. So with the beef stock, chicken stock, or whatever you're using, you know, you can continually add and reduce, add and reduce. Same with water if you want to cook the mushrooms longer. But with the wine, you kind of only want to do that once because the flavors are more delicate and you don't want to heat it that long. So we have that wine completely reduced. We're going to turn the heat off. And now we're going to finish off these mushrooms. So I'm just going to do 
little squeeze of lemon juice. We don't want too much. We just want a little bit of brightness and acidity. We don't really want to taste the lemon here. And then maybe a half a teaspoon, teaspoon of this balsamic glaze. Same thing, a little bit of acidity, a little bit of richness. We're just going to mix everything in. Okay, I'll just plate everything up. So let's give our mushrooms a shot. Yeah. These are literal crack. You could take a bowl full of these mushrooms and just eat that for dinner. And if they serve these in a restaurant, I'd pay $40, $50 for a big bowl. I would. They're that good. Insane. Insane. These mushrooms are so flavorful. And nothing really sticks out too much. It's just this like umami, that savory, like saliva drenching flavor. Just it's so upfront. It's so powerful that, you know, if you're going to eat this, if you're going to have these mushrooms, you better make sure everything else is up to par. Because if you're having like a plain steak and plain brown rice, but yeah, the mushrooms are going to add a lot of flavor to that, but... You know, you can do similar culinary techniques on the other foods to kind of get them up to that level. But hopefully you guys enjoy this. Cook this for your friends, your family. It will blow them away. They'll never have any vegetable that has ever tasted like this in their life. So if you guys do want to support me further, you can check out frank com. We have the collagen broth on Frankie's Strange Meat, skirt steak on the foods website. We have water kefir, water kefir grains. And I hope to continue to provide you guys with all high-quality products. I'm always wearing my Wi-Fi shielding shirt underwear, all that stuff. But as always, please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Therefore, as I said, guys, frank com. Let me know if there are any recipes you guys would like me to do in the near future, but I'll see you for the next video.